Welcome back to another cooking video. I'm Chef DeVille and today I'm going to teach you how to make a sauce. Now, specifically we're going to make teriyaki sauce because one of you requested in the comment section below. And a lot of you have asked me before how to make sauces, I just couldn't find any other comments as reference. So I found one that apparently doesn't know how to spell my name. Never mind that, let's just get to cooking. Alright, so you put your pan on the heat and then you cut a little piece of ginger and a little piece of garlic. And make sure they're very small because ginger and garlic are very strong so it can easily overpower teriyaki sauce. You want it to be just a subtle note in the background, nothing more. All right, so now that I've got one bit of ginger and one bit of garlic, I'm gonna put some oil in the pan. What you want is one teaspoon of sesame seed oil and two teaspoons of olive oil. The sesame seed oil is the taste and I, I love the flavor of it, but it's too overwhelming. If you put too much sesame seed oil, it just blows it. So just really restrict it to one teaspoon of it. Once you've added your sesame seed and olive oil into the pan, you add your ginger and garlic and you let them sizzle up a little bit. So there's a bit of exchange of flavors. The garlic and the ginger browns a little bit, gets a nice bit of color and the taste changes a little bit. Then you add your sugar, which is 50 grams. You let it melt and caramelize a little bit. And then at this point you add all your liquids, which is 150 liters of soy sauce. and 150 milliliters of mirin, and then 50 milliliters of sake. All right, so once you put all the liquid inside, the caramel solidifies into like rocks and at the bottom. So you just keep stirring it, and then it will just dissolve into the liquid. And what you wanna do is just reduce it down to a much thicker sauce. So just put it on a low temperature, and this might take 15, 20 minutes. Just keep an eye on it, and when you feel it's at the right thickness for you, then you remove it off the heat and just let it cool down. All right, now a thick teriyaki sauce is awesome, but sometimes there is good uses to a thin teriyaki sauce. So what I suggest you do is a little bit after starting reducing, you just remove half of it, so you can make a nice thin teriyaki sauce, and then put the other half back on and make that into a nice thick teriyaki sauce. And that way you have the best of both worlds. Okay, now for the thick teriyaki sauce, I like to add a little bit of toasted sesame seeds, just to give a little bit of extra flavor and a little bit of extra decoration. There we go. Okay, right, so the thick sauce is done reducing and it's still pretty liquidy, but I know from experience that when you cool it down a bit more, it's gonna get more thick. So I'm just gonna pour it out now. Oh okay, yeah, so there you go. One thin teriyaki sauce and one thick teriyaki sauce for glazing. Done. 